Hey everyone, before today's video begins, if you guys want to support me as a creator, Roblox has now introduced star codes. All you guys gotta do is type in my name, Matrix, just before you guys purchase Robux. Thank you so much everyone, now let's get into the video. Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video today on the channel. Oh my gosh, that sun is so bright. Guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Way For It. You guys absolutely loved this game last time we played it. And I gotta tell you something, since we played it, I think we played it about a month ago, since we played it, it has improved significantly. And I think you guys are really gonna like today's video. I'm certainly excited for it. And I'm actually really, really, really excited to be back here on YouTube. And uh, for those of you who don't know, maybe you found this video differently or you're not subscribed yet, which I recommend you guys go ahead and do. But if you're not subscribed and you're just watching this, I took quite the break from YouTube for quite a while now, but we're back on the grind. We're back here today. And I'm really excited to bring you guys a new update in Way4 Alpha. So. Guys, last time we played this game, we actually started to get around the map, we explored everything, and we were really enjoying it. We got ourselves this Ford Mustang here, which of course, if you guys know me, always a first pick whenever we go into a new game. However, today is not about the Mustang. In fact, it's not about Ford at all. Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. Now, let me take a quick look here. Oh my gosh, is our graphics all the way down? Hold on a second, let me turn those graphics up real quick. I was noticing that. Okay, our graphics are back up. Anyways, we are taking a look at the brand new C8 Corvette, the new very first mid-engine Corvette. If you guys haven't seen much on this new car, it is so, so hyped up right now, man. It is the most exciting new car coming out in 2020, in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works in Roblox. I think uh, I think this is the first game that actually released the, uh, the C8 Corvette, which is kind of interesting. I hope other games follow suit. I think it's actually, you know what, I think it might be one of the coolest cars ever released. And I know that that's a, a very, very large statement to make, but I do genuinely believe this Corvette is something else. I think it's gonna be a very, very well-respected vehicle. Um, anyways, let's take a quick look at it. I've probably put it on the screen a few times for you, uh, but let's take a quick look at it. We can't afford it just yet, so we'll have to do some grinding. Um, but let's head in here and let me show you guys what we're working with today. So let's walk up here. So as you guys can see, there is a ton of cars. So we've got a couple of classics, couple of electrics, tons of muscle cars here. And I love this. They actually changed the name of all the cars. Uh, there's a reason for it, but we don't need to get into that. So all these cars have very unique names now, kind of a play on words, like the Fort Manatee, for instance. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here is a ton of cars. This is awesome. You can probably recognize most of them. I think most of them are very iconic. Uh, but right here, look at this. The uh, 2020 Chevion Dorvette, otherwise known as the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. This thing goes for almost 100 grand. But funny story, in real life, it's actually gonna be releasing as a base model for roughly around $60,000, which is why it is so exciting to see and so many people are hyped up about it. It is such an affordable mid-engine vehicle that makes, I think, I don't remember exactly, I think it's 535 horsepower. So it's no it's no underperformer by any means. Um, oh, where are we going here? Uh, it's definitely no underperformer. It definitely looks the part, and a lot of people are actually comparing it to the Mac Clarins, which is kind of a really really cool thing to think especially since it's just a Chevy But anyways what we're gonna do now uh, to make ourselves the other $75,000 that we need is we are going to take this car this poor little Mustang GT Over to the racetrack because this game actually added in racing I want to see how that works and I and I don't really know where I'm going But I want to see how the racing works. I want to see how the Corvette works guys today's video is super hyped And if you guys are excited for it definitely leave it a big thumbs up I'm really really glad to be back and I've got a ton of new content planned for you guys so definitely stick around like the video and subscribe hey that was pretty cool and subscribe if you guys are new anyways let's head on over here and uh, I think this is where the races are right so this looks like a drag strip I think um, and then what do we got over here is this the drag race yeah okay two players per race first one to win oh, okay nice uh all right let's see if we can go back to the spawn and get somebody to come with us and we can uh do this drag race and see how it works let's just ask some random people oh okay i can't ask that guy never mind <laughs> let's go find somebody else i suppose all right how about this nissan 370 nismo this might be a good guy to ask let's see if this guy is willing to race us here 
I mean, this seems like a pretty decent race if he accepts it. Yes? Okay. Guys, we found somebody. Let's do this, man. We're going to be racing up against a Nissan 370Z Nismo. I think this is a pretty fair race. Pretty much the uh, American Ford Mustang versus the Japanese Mustang, if you would compare it in such sorts. This is going to be a really cool race. Lots of different cars here. I do want to take a look at the customizing because I'm pretty sure that there's more than we saw in the last video. So let's pull up here and, uh, oh, oh, I think you might have missed it. Oh wait, maybe not? Or do we start here? Okay, it looks like we start here. These are nice, man. These Lamborghinis look great. I love those rims as well. Okay, so they definitely have different rims and they definitely have different body colors that you can do here. Um, do we just pull in here like this? Are we all just gonna pile up here? Okay, let's see. Oh gosh, there's police too? Yo, this game has improved so much. Okay, so we've got police, criminals, and prisoners. Yo, that is so sick. I think it's glitched. Oh no, the racing is glitched. Okay, we'll have to come back for another video then and do that. Um, in that case, well, that sort of sucks. Uh, in that case, I think what we should do is probably just buy some money. I definitely don't want to do this video without the Corvette, so let me see if we can just buy... Uh, okay, it's only 350 Robux. We're good. Let's just buy enough and let's go get ourselves that Corvette. I think it's definitely worth the 350 Robux. I gotta say, I think they also improved the map here as well. The map feels a lot more detailed. Because uh, I remember that was one of the things that we didn't really uh, notice in the first rendition of this map. Is there wasn't too many buildings, wasn't too many trees or anything like that. But I think they definitely stepped that up. Oh man. By the way, check out this dealership. Look at these prizes right here, man. These things look great. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh gosh, I bugged myself out, no! Okay, hold on, let me get out of here. All right, we're good. So, let's head in here again, and uh, we got the Jeep Trackhawk. This thing is awesome. If you guys didn't watch my vlog, I actually had the opportunity to drive one of these bad boys. Love it, so fun. We got a ZL1 with, uh, whoa, holy smokes. Dude, look at the interior quality here. What else do we got here, what do we have in here? We got the Trackhawk, but it doesn't look like we can sit inside of this one, unless we can sit maybe in the passenger seat? Ah, oh, no, nah, we can't. Okay, how about this? Dude, look at this interior quality. This is awesome. Whoever models this does a really good job. Very nice. Look at this, man. Holy smokes. Okay, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get this Corvette. <laughs> Where are we here? Uh, 2020, there it is. We bought it. I wish something would pop up saying, congrats, you just bought a car or something like that. But anyways, Let's take a look at this bad boy. Spawn is definitely quite uh, crowded at the moment, but that's okay. Let's take out our uh, Corvette here and take a good look at this thing. Man, holy smokes. Look at this, dude. That is next level. Okay, I really like this. And the exhaust sounds great too. Okay, okay, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this thing already, man. This looks amazing. Is this really how this car is gonna come out for $60,000? Dude, a $60,000 car is like a Ford Expedition or something like that. You could get that or you could get this. And this thing can definitely hold its own against a bunch of fast cars too. This is so cool. Um, okay, I'm just gonna let people pass me because I kind of want to just look at this car. All right, yeah, let him go, let him go. No, don't follow me, dude, dang it. Dude, this thing sounds so wicked. Can I do manual mode? Is manual a thing? It doesn't, ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Dude, it sounds so good though, holy smokes. Whoever does the sounds did a really good job on this as well. Um, okay, so let me see if we can customize this guy real quick. Uh... On the go. Okay, you know what? We'll buy the game pass. I kind of wanted to go to the actual shop, but let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so let me close this. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got paint colors. Um, I kind of liked it in the white, actually. The white looked really good. What else do we have? We got fog. I think there was a blue that the Corvettes will come in as well. That looks pretty awesome. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it in the white because the white looks great. Uh, we got rim color as well. I think I'm going to do black rims. I think black would look so good. Oh my gosh, dude. That is so nice. All right. Uh, let's just maybe eh, black metallic. I don't know which one to do. I think we'll go with the really black. And then, of course, I will keep the red calipers. I definitely like those. We could try like a yellow. Yellow might not be too bad either. Um, is there like a, a more? Ah, there we go. 
Yeah, okay, the yellow looks good as well, but I think I'm more of a fan of the red. Dude, this thing looks crazy. All right, so this is our 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. It looks so good. Holy man. Okay, I wish we could take it on the drag strip and race it, but let's see what its top speed is. That we can check. So right now we're at, oh my gosh, man. Fifth gear, we're pulling at 140 miles per hour. Can we go any faster? I wonder what this thing's top speed is. It's a seven speed. 170 miles per hour. Oh, no. Oh, we reached the end of the line. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, guys. It looks like we're approaching 200 miles per hour. Oh, no. The roads aren't long enough to let it reach its top speed. Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume it can reach 200 miles per hour, which is insane. Dude, this car looks great, though. Uh, and we can even drive in the... Oh, dude. First person mode. This is awesome. So guys, let me know your thoughts on the brand new 2020 Chevrolet Corvette. What do you think of this thing? Do you think it should be a mid-engine? Do you like that it's a mid-engine? Do you think it's worth the value? And guys, if you wanna see more way for it, definitely leave a big thumbs up on today's video. Let me know what you liked best and what you guys wanna see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh man, there's a cop. Okay, I am just going to... Oh god, no, he's trying to pull me over! No! I'll see you guys in the next video!